In this short video I'll show you how to install 3CX on Call Manager. There are a couple of prerequisites that you should be aware of. Um, the expectation is that you're installing this on the 3CX server directly, um, that you're, you have therefore installed .NET version 4, and you have some version of SQL Server installed. Um, SQL Express, which is free, is um, perfectly fine. Uh, the purpose of um, On-Call Manager is basically to notify your staff when somebody has left an after-hours support request. And those notifications can be either through a phone call, uh, email, or SMS text message. Okay, so um, you see I've put in my license key and my contact information. Um, this information is really very important. Um, it does two things. It allows us to um, locate your license key if you were to misplace it sometime in the future, and also gives us a way to notify you when there are new product releases. So simple register goes out to our website and authenticates your license key, and then we can go on to configuring the application. So you'll want to select your SQL Server that you've previously installed. You'll see we've got a bunch, but just pick the one that's particular to you. You can use either SQL Server authentication or Windows authentication. If you use Windows authentication, by default we create a local uh, VoIP Toys user and then give that user rights to databases and to running the website and various things. Um, don't select the database at this point, but let's do test. And that looks good. Um, so we can go ahead and create all of the, the database and all of the necessary objects within the database. Then we can select um, the information for connecting to 3CX. Since we're installing locally on the 3CX server, you can just press that button and it'll get all the information you need. You need to specify the extension that is going to be watched for voicemails. So OnCall Manager will watch, in our case, uh, extension 100 for any new voicemails. And then you need to specify two digital receptionists. And the purpose of these digital receptionists are, this is how we communicate with um, your staff via phone. So we'll call them on the phone, transfer them to this um, digital receptionist. This digital receptionist will give them one option, which is to connect to voicemail so that they can hear the voicemail. And then after a voicemail is heard, um, we will call back anybody that was previously notified and play a message for them that says the, the voicemail has been handled and you don't need to pursue it. Um, so this digital receptionist is just used to uh, give you that uh, notification. Um, but you can specify whatever options you want in these two digital receptionists. And then we need to specify email. Alright, so you now know my uh, cell phone number, and because we're sending emails outside of our domain, it's necessary, at least in our case, to specify a um, authentication. And I'm going to purposefully put in one here that won't work. So you can see the error. So that means I wasn't able to send the SMS text message. So let's change it to somebody who does have sufficient rights. And this is what it looks like if it is successful. So you want to test both sending SMS text messages. Um, so that you can confirm your authentication 
and then you also want to specify and you may have just heard that my cell phone uh, got a SMS text message okay we'll test that so we've confirmed that we can send both types of uh, emails that's basically it I'm going to save all of my configuration settings and then I'm going to start the Windows service that actually monitors that voicemail box and uh, provides the notifications. So that's pretty much it for um, installing 3CX On Call Manager. Hopefully that's been helpful for you.